Well, the Mueller report, in the end, didn't quite reveal what the left promised it would, spent two years telling us it would. Millions and millions of taxpayer dollars spent, thousands of hours of investigation, and in the end, no evidence of collusion. So if you bought in 100% to the idea that the Mueller report is going to vindicate all of your dreams, how do you respond? Well, denial works. Some are pretending it never even happened. Out in Hollywood, a bunch of celebrities are fully in denial. They say the report actually did expose collusion, and you could discover it, too, if you just read all 448 pages slowly. Watch. The Russian government attacked our democracy. They interfered in the presidential election in sweeping and systematic fashion. And made hundreds of contacts with the Trump campaign. All is a part of a massive covert operation. Investigate connections between Russia and the Trump campaign. Mueller delivered his report on March 22nd, and it contains the most damning evidence ever compiled against a sitting U.S. president. Yet. Virtually no one has read it. And before the report was even released, Trump's attorney general, William Barr, lied about its content. All this is in the report. Please just read it for yourself. No one. No one. Not even the president of the United States is above the law. <laughs> what percentage of those people move their lips when they read? Yeah. They have and great voices, though. That's for sure. Tammy Bruce. <laughs> You know, Rob, makes me laugh. It's like Robert De Niro. It looks like he just got out of the shower and was really upset or something in, in that imagery. <laughs> um, the only thing missing from that tone and the nature of this was then a discussion about crop circles and how hieroglyphics in, in Egypt on the pyramids were really communications <laughs> to the outer space people. Um, look, uh, it, it's pathetic. Uh, it's obviously a, a group of people who are embarrassed, as they should be, not just because of this video, but because they did tell people for years that this was going to be the case. And it wasn't just about collusion. It was that the president of the United States was a Russian spy. I, it, the, the, but what do you expect from people who make a living by living in make-believe? And this is it. Now, the other thing, of course, the next video that I could follow would be all of them talking about that the government still has not arrested the Corleone family, even though we've had three movies exposing what it is they've done. Uh, and then in, in just a few days ago, <laughs> it's true, you know it. Just a few days ago, we had a number of senators mm -hmm. actually briefed on UFOs, uh, that we know that there was some briefing about uh, some of the Navy sightings of lights that they can't explain. And yet, decades ago, we knew about Darth Vader and Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker, and we did nothing then at that point either. This is the same trajectory. They're telling people, <laughs> please just look at the movie, read the book, and you'll believe it too. But it's also insulting, Tucker, because they're behaving as though the American people or even their own constituency, other liberals, either are too lazy to read or read it and didn't understand it properly or have just given up, that they are the only ones who truly understand what the dynamic is. So, so look, uh, there's a lot of rehab for people in Hollywood who escape reality using drugs and alcohol. There now needs to be, to be one to, to get them out of this uh, pathological fixation on Donald Trump. They need to admit they were wrong uh, and, be, and, get, and accept it, which is what most Americans do, and move on. So it, it, it turns out it must be more boring than we realize to be an actor, because you'd think if you were a success, if you're Robert De Niro, you'd think, I'm sorry, I'm, in, I'm enjoying my 11 houses in my yes. private plane and, yes. you know, the fruits of my labor. I'm rich. I'm famous. But no, he's sitting in some little studio yelling about Trump into a camera. I don't understand. Well, it, it, here, why the fixation? Here's the here's a large part of the problem. You have uh, politicians and Hollywood who began to believe that they are the ones that matter, that they are better than everyone else, that we're a bunch of, you know, deplorable plebes out here ruining things. And yet we didn't listen to them in 2016. We rejected their advice. We didn't take them seriously. And we still aren't. So for them, it's, their, it's never about other people for these individuals because the narcissism is too much. For them, it's about right. their own uh, uh, sense of seriousness, their own relevance, which, of course, it, with considering that no one's taking them seriously, uh, it gets, uh, gets battered every single day. So this is an effort to regenerate themselves. It has nothing to do with the country. It never has. 
the irony, of course, is their influence is waning. I mean, their exactly. business is dying. Exactly. You know what I mean? Being a movie star is, is not what it was even five years ago.